Hello guys, we're so excited today. We're gonna try out all my waivers. I saw the city passing by my window. So basically, I love any hot tool and once I get obsessed with it then I order like 500 of them because I want to try them all out and I want to see which one works the very best. <laughs> so today I have Miss Kate and I have Miss Lily and Mr. Cody. It's fresh from the groomer and we are going to show you just some different waivers and how they look on hair. So we're going to start off with Kate and a lot of people are always like, okay, I don't get it. Why is my hair not waved? And Kate and Lily's hair is super straight. And it's almost to the point where if you don't use any product, it will not curl. And also, I have so many videos on what shampoos you should use and all that stuff because if you're not using the right shampoo, then your curls will not stay for sure. So what we're gonna do first is, I am going to take Biolage Thermal Active Spray. Now, this spray is a heat activating spray and it's also a heat protected spray. And it's gonna make it so the curls will actually hold. So, what I do first is I just kind of like spritz it all over her hair. And that way, it'll really like make the curls hold. And then I'm just gonna take, I start from the top, I'm just gonna take a small section. Let's see, I think I'm gonna start with this guy. This guy, um, I got from Amazon and it's just like a three barrel and you open it up and you just clamp it down. So what I'm gonna do, also a lot of wave iron you have to be so careful because a lot of them will kink right here if you're not careful. So you just gotta figure out how to hold the wave iron so it won't kink. Like if I hold it this way, it's gonna kink. So I'm just gonna hold it out and I usually just count to about five and then I'll let it out and then I'll do the next section. And some of the wave irons work so much better than others. Like some of them literally like you, like you put it on there and sit it on and it doesn't do anything. So you're like, okay, seriously, like what the heck? So that one you can see works pretty dang good. It's so cute. And then I'm gonna take the next section like, the thing is, I don't want their hair to be like super wavy. Like, I just want it to be like beachy waves. So, now let's try this one. Is what I use on my hair today. I love it so much. But it's another one from Amazon. And um, so, it's just kind of tricky. Like, you just kind of kind of figure out what kind of wave you want it to be. And then and then try them out. This is a really um, kind of more looser beachy wave one, I feel. And it, they have, they can't, they came in a bunch of different sizes. Like some were 32 millimeters, some were like 26. This one was the biggest one. And I feel like it definitely will fall out faster, but it's, it's cute too. It's a little bit bigger of a wave. So that one's cute too. Um, now, we're just gonna keep going back here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Like this Thermoxy spray helps so much to hold. I don't spray a ton, but I just spray a little bit and it just helps it so much to hold the curl. And then same thing, I'm just doing it in three sections. And then if you're like in a hurry in the morning, like also, that one's really cute. Also, you can kind of mix them up also and do different ones, but so the underneath part, I'm just kind of doing the bottom half so it doesn't get super, like, I just don't want it to be a big poof ball. Like, sometimes if you wave it all the way to the root all over, then it's gonna be like super poofy. I am gonna start on her other side and do the same thing. I'm gonna take one of my other wavers and this one, as you can see, is a little smaller. But I love this one when you really want it to hold super good because it will last all day. But it's definitely gonna be like a tighter wave, but it is like, it holds a lot more and it works super fast. I wish they made this in a bigger one so bad. 
but as you can see, like it just is way tighter of a wave. So I'm just gonna show you the difference in both of her sides after I do one and then do the other. And you can see how much curlier this is. I'll link this one down below. I got this on a different website. Um, and I'll link it at the bottom. But this one you can cruise so fast. And same thing, I just don't go all the way to the root. I'm just going like halfway down when I get to under the underneath part. As you can see, like the difference between the sides, like <clears throat> this one's obviously way more tight than this one. It's crazy, I can feel like it's okay. tight. Like it's, it's so much more tight. Yeah. But, so it all just depends on like the look you want. Like, so if you want it to be a little tighter, then you can use the one on the right. And if you're in a hurry, you can use the one on the right. So now we're gonna test a few more really fast on Lily. And this one's so sick. This one <laughs> is like a crimper. And if you wanna just add a little bit extra something to your wave, you just, this one's automatic, so you just clamp it down and it just goes automatically down. It's so cool. I wish they made this in like a waver because it's like a crimper. But you could just wave pieces of your hair and then and then just crimp a few pieces just to add a little extra. This is another waver I've never used. <laughs> so we're gonna try it out, but it actually looks kind of sick. But then you can just wave into the crimp section and it looks cute, like just adds a little something. And it looks like it, it's just not, you're, you're gonna have to take a little more sections, but it actually works really good. But same thing, I think this one's Conair. But I'll, I'll link them all below so you can find them, but this one's really cute. Especially for Lily's hair, Lily's hair is really hard to curl. This one's a really good one if you have little girls or you want, you're in like a hurry. And then again, you could just take the, you could just take this other little waver, the automatic guy, and you could do another piece up a little higher up. Looks so cool. And then it just kind of gives it a little texture look. It's so cute. And then we'll try a couple more really fast on this side. This is the red long one. And this one is a little bigger, so we'll see how it goes. Sometimes these ones won't curl on Lily's hair. Oh, actually it did. It's just a little bigger of a wave. As you can see, it's not nearly as tight as the other side. <laughs> as you can see, it's way lighter. And, it, and you almost have to let it sit on for so long. Okay, one more and then we're done. Okay, so this one, it kind of looks like a lot like the purple one that we used on Kate. Um, I haven't used this one yet either. <laughs> I, just kind of, I just kind of hoard them and then, you know, I get to like certain things and then, how did I use this? No, this is a different one. It's called the she Chinon. Chinon. But this one too, it's really a lot smaller and it actually works really good too. So I would say, I'll put the top ones down below that I love and I'll put the ones that are like for more curly hair and the ones that are for like a little looser wave down below and you can look at those but you can kind of see the difference like you can tell that this one's like a little more wavy than the one that I use in the front so it kind of just depends on the look you're going for but I hope that helped you guys out. I hope that helped you so much to know which waiver to buy. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask questions, but I'll try to link all the waivers below. And thanks so much for watching.